How to embed Clayview form to your Shopify store. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step exactly what you need to actually embed a Clayview form to your Shopify store, meaning they will actually find or see the form in your Shopify store itself and will be able to fill it in from Shopify. So how do you actually do this? First, you will need to just go to the apps section from the bottom left and just go to all recommended apps and then you will find Clayview. And basically you want to install Clayview and integrate your Shopify store with Clayview if you have not done that already. So just go in and look up Clayview and install it. Now, once you integrate uh, Clayview with your Shopify store, you'll need to turn on the sync and all of those things that are needed for you to get started so just go ahead and do the just follow the steps basically and for your shopify store you will need to just click on customize uh, and just go to app embeds at the bottom left and make sure that clavio is turned on now once this is done we can just go in and click on save and basically we just want to um exit out of here we want to keep our shopify store obviously but uh, once all of these things are done we want to just go to the sign up forms section here and you want to just click on get started uh, if you have one already you just go ahead and create a new one basically now here i'm just going to select email and i'm just going to select email list and click on next uh, and here you will need to select the last one which is the embedded form so just go ahead and select this one and then you would want to click on next one more time here you will need to uh, set up the coupon that you are offering uh, or don't offer a coupon which is completely up to you i'm just going to use a static one but the most recommended one is going to be the top one you will need to actually set this up from shopify uh, but for the time being i'm just going to use a static coupon and here I'm just going to do the code as better, for example. And here I'm just going to set it up to be 15% off. Uh, and then we can just go in and click on next. Uh, now, from here, we will be able to basically build our form, uh, just how it actually looks like, add the text that we want to add, and all of those things. So uh, feel free to just adjust this to your liking. I'm not really going to do much here uh, because, you know, it's not about designing it, it's about embedding it to our Shopify store. So after you're done and you're, you know, pretty much content with the uh, style, click on edit form from the top right. And once this loads in, uh, we can just go in and click on publish on the top right. Again, you can set up the styles and stuff. I'm not going to do any of this because I'm, you know, trying to show you how to do this. But you can feel free to style it, um, you know, the targeting and behavior, blocks, whatever you want. Anyways, once this is done, click on publish and they're going to give you this code. Just go ahead and copy this code. And we are pretty much done from Clavio. You can feel free to exit out of here if you want. Now, going back to Shopify, you will need to just go to your Shopify, go to pages, and then you want to just click on add page. From here, you want to just go in and give it a name. I'm just going to do Clavio form. Uh, and now you can just insert the content that you actually want. But most importantly, you want to click on this show HTML option. So just go in and click on that. And then once this actually is, you know, uh, selected, you want to basically paste in the code right over here. And again, just go back to the editor, add whatever type of text you want and so on. Once this is done, just click on save and we are pretty much good to go. We are pretty much done. We have embedded our Clavio form on our Shopify store. And I will show you exactly how it's actually going to look like. If you click on view page, it's actually just going to add the form here in our Shopify store. So you can just go ahead and add it to your navigation. Feel free to do whatever you want with it. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.